Welcome to my YouTube channel PowerPoint University. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to make a certificate of appreciation or uh, employee of the month certification in PowerPoint. Here you can see here I have created one beautiful gold star uh, with a blue background and here all whatever if you want to change everything it's uh, editable. Just change the certificate name or change the employee name here and if you want to add more detail about the certificate you can add it here and then you can change the company logo and after printing you can put the date and a signature or if you have a dig digital signature you can uh, put it here so everything is editable here and the other slide where you can literally change everything if you don't feel that blue color is not good you can change to some other color of your choice or you can change the golden logo or the star with some other and once you have done this one you can simply go to file save as I will just select a PDF and I will just say certificate of appreciation and I'll just go to more options and I will just say open fire after publishing and just make sure that this is standard publishing online and printing uh, option is checked and once you have done all those things I'll just click save button it asked me to overwrite because I have already printed before saved it before so just let me just say yes and you can see here this is your uh, certificate already for printing so friends let's see how we can make this beautiful certificate of appreciation in PowerPoint add a new slide go to design slide size select custom slide size and from the drop down select a4 and the orientation keep it landscape and just say ok then right mouse click go to format background and say gradient fill I have used two different color a dark blue and uh, one more blue which is much more darker than the first one or you can use any color combination and then go to insert shapes and select star star is under stars and banners I'm going to select star five points just make a big star I'll make it more bigger and then shape outline make it no outline and I'm going to select gradient fill so gradient fill by default it's taking the the background so I'm going to change that one and I'm going to use a different golden colors to look the gold star so first I'll select this point and I have some colors here like this then I'll add one more point and I'm going to select some darker colors and this type I will make it linear and direction I will make it something maybe this one I'll select this I'll make it again a lighter color again I'll add one more point make it darker so you have to just select the combination of lighter and darker colors you can see here again I'm going to select a darker color here so you can choose as many as uh, stops you want and you can adjust it also and again I'm going to select one more color so you can see here I've selected so many different stops let me just reduce the size of this and I will just zoom out and I want to make this star somewhat out of the slide I'll make it somewhat bigger 
I think this is okay. So once this is done, I'm going to select the star, press Ctrl D to duplicate. I'll duplicate this and then I will change. I will remove some of the stops. I can just simply select and remove some of the stars here. You can see here some of the stops. Maybe let me just keep two or three only. And then I'm going to increase the size further or bigger than the first one. And I will just say format send to back to give a 3D look. You can see here. If you want, you can increase the size a little bit more. And again, put it in the center. I think this is okay. And one more star I'm going to add by pressing Ctrl D. And this time I'm going to shape fill. I will select white color. And again, I will increase the size a little bit more. Send this to back and put it something like this. Should be something like this. Let me just select the stars or you can press Ctrl A. I'll just move a little bit this side. Right. Then I'm going to insert one more shape which is a right triangle draw a right triangle something like this this much size i'll make it somewhat up i think this is okay and shape outline make it no outline and shape fill make it a white color and then send this to back so it will be something like this and then I'm going to insert one more this time a triangle I'll just draw a triangle something like this and using this arrow I can just bend it rotate it and I'm going to just put it here increase the size and let me just zoom in and put it perfectly i think this is okay and then i'm going to use the same star color here i'll just select this go to home format painter click on this one you can see here if you want you can change it uh, to one or two stops only let me just do that one I'll just keep only these two stops and all remaining I'm deleting. I'll move this side. Maybe the direction. Not this. I'll use this direction. Yeah. So you can see here the star our design looks something like this now so it's almost done just now we need to add uh, the text and the name and some company logo now let's add the text go to insert text box i will just type certificate c-e-r-t-i-f-i-c-a-t-e -E -E, certificate and i'm going to use the font which is the century gothic and try to use only one font or maximum two fonts don't mo go more than that so let me just increase the size make it bold and here i will character spacing i will make it very loose and font color to be white so here i'll place it certificate if you want you can make it more bigger also and then press ctrl d to duplicate and here I'm going to type of appreciation, certificate of appreciation.
and this spacing i'm going to make it normal one and reduce the size and put it here but still this is bigger i'll write aligned and put it here so you can see here or this also you can write a line and select both of this and make sure that align just say align right so it is perfectly aligned and then you can add the name here to add the name i'm just going to select the certificate press press ctrl d to duplicate and type the name here your name I will make it center aligned don't give uh, spacing make it normal and press ctrl D to duplicate to give some shadow effect and I'm going to select the color which is the golden color or let me just check this color and just put it behind this white so you can see here it looks like a shadow effect there now and then you can type if you want the designation and at the bottom I'm just going to insert one oval shape where you can place the company logo here and i'll just select this your name make it a dark blue color and company name you can specify the company name and so let me just move this a little bit so i'll put the company name here and the logo will come here and if you want to add some more text i'll just control d duplicate and i'm going to give some gray color here maybe this color provide more details about this certificate maybe you can use this one for employee of the month or for some other purposes So once you have done this make sure that this is all properly aligned and then at the bottom you can add the date and signature to add the date and signature let me just add the text or i can just simply take this text control d i'll just say date and I will draw some line one straight line the same gray color select this make sure that is properly aligned align left control G to group it control D to duplicate and put one more here for signature and you have to make sure that this is properly aligned align top so that's it you can see here the design is already and you can use for any purpose 
for appreciation or for employee of the month or employee of the quarter or whatever that's it from me friends thank you for watching my youtube channel and don't forget to subscribe powerpoint university see you soon with more interesting stuff till then goodbye